Yo, what it do, people? Hold on one second. Okie dokie. Got us a box. Got us a box. We're going to open this joint real quick. Show you what's in the box. It's kind of dope. Let's see. Ooh, fancy. Delete all of the paperwork with all of the secret squirrel information on it. Cut away from you. <laughs> One must always remember to cut away. All right, there's that. Long amounts of brown paper for days. In the basket. Come on, player. You guys ready? Dun ticka dun ticka dun. Woo! There it is. It is the Rode Wirelesses Pro. Let me do this here. Oh my God. Mouse is not cooperating. Mouse cooperate. There you go. Oh, why are you weird? Hold on. I'm in a rotate mode. All right, there we go. It's a little upside down, but it's right side up to me. Or is it? Well, no. Let's do that again. That's better. <laughs> Man, that angle is dumb. Uh, that angle is dumb. We're going to forget that angle. We're going to use that angle. Ooh, but now you guys can see the secret squirrel stuff, <laughs> which you can't see. <laughs> oh, that's just great. That's just great. Hold on. This is just great. Remove the secret scroll stuff that you're not allowed to see. And then take off the stupid bracket because it didn't work. I thought it would work. Had this idea. All ideas are good until they're not. <laughs> so you know what it is. You know what it is. All ideas are fantastic until they're not. All right, let me do this. All right, is that any better? It ain't all good. That's the truth. Things ain't banging like they used to do. It's all about you. It ain't all good. That's the truth. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. We get it. We're getting food orders put together. 
<laughs> and it's just not behaving properly. Let me remove the stream deck out of the way. Uh, come on, dude. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. All right, now we're cooking with Pam. Now I think we have action. Yes, now we have a good hands in the pan shot. Close the knife for safety before we mess around and lose something. All right, here we go. Now, let me uh, tap to focus. I'm going to lock the focus right about there. All right, cool. So, straight after lock the knife for safety, I... Uh, Need to open this tab. <laughs> All right, so these are the new Rode Compact Wireless System, basically similar to what's already the current models. You guys know what it is. Rode Wireless Go type joints, right? But this one will come with the 32-bit float action. And listen, I said lock. Don't move to my face, dummy. Oh, me and this thing are going to fight. Release my face. It's not working. You know when the tech doesn't do what the hell you want it to do? All right, this is stupid. Not going to work. Oh, damn. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. That sucks horribly. And it's funny, um, brother-in-law just recently got it finally after all of these years. And, you know, I think what happened is everybody got comfortable with thinking that it's over, but it ain't over. All right, anyway, let's get rid of that. So basically, these are similar to what's already out, except for you're going to get some better 
time code management. And the big deal is the 32-bit float recording, which is the money move. All right, so we're going to put that there. And I'm going to have to just redo this whole thing just because it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. There we go. All right. It's funny. Newfangled packaging always makes you want to open it goofy. So there's the charging cases and the power cord and the manual. You can close these back. Put this back in chia. All right, cool. So don't need a power cable because I use my special ones. But you'll notice here on the back, it has a place to plug it in and a place to power it up. And then on this side, it's just carry. So let's look inside the carry one first. Ooh, accessories for days. Ooh -hoo. All right, so you got a cloth. You got a pack of Do Not Eats. Don't eat that. You got Lavalier clips and foams for the laughs. You have two laughs with this kind of locking connector, which is dope. That means when you put the lav in, you can lock that baby down and nice flat lav heads instead of round makes it easier to pin against a body not and there's a bunch of dead cats in the bottom down here let's see let's get a count we have one two three four five dead cats okay they don't like even numbers <laughs> but you got five dead cats two for lavaliers and three for the mics and the way i can tell is this has a little bit of a squared off hole in order to fit in the love head like this. And this has a the standard road connector. Now, the last time we switch from road to road, the connectors changed a little bit. Let's see if it changed again. Nope, this does fit the old road, which is good. Cause the switching from one to two, like, it didn't, it, it changed a little bit. You couldn't use the old dead cats. Man, I do not give a rat's freaking butt about all of the people that do not like the industry term dead cat because they think somehow it's, I mean, it's a colloquialism, it's not literal. Anybody that's, that's hypersensitive, we can't be friends anyway because I will piss you off every 15 seconds. <laughs> Just telling you facts. And you can call it whatever you want, but the industry term is dead cat. So trying to adjust the industry term for all of the new people that come in with weird feelings. Um, yeah. If the industry switch, I'll switch. If not, it's a dead cat. Deal with it. <laughs> all right. So here's the magnets. Um, you got a little rubber protector. That's funny. Road put a rubber protector in the magnet to make sure that you don't scratch off the name, which is funny. I say Mike froze too, um, which is funny because everyone gives them so much crap about putting their name on everything. <laughs> so it's funny that there's a little pad protector to stop the magnets from scratching. And it actually, this magnet is rubberized. Well, you can't hear that. The magnet itself is rubberized, which is also dope because I got to say the one thing on my DJI, I use the magnet a lot, but it has definitely scratched off some of the writing on the back of the, uh, the device itself. So that's funny, but well thought out. Appreciate that thought. Um, put it back in here. Oy. The hard part with dealing with the magnets though, is they get unruly. So let's remove the magnets first, put the clip back in the doohickey. That's also a industry term. So put the clip back on the doohickey, put the secondary clip back on the doohickey. That was easier than the first. <laughs> and then put the little rubber guard and then the other rubber guard and then put a little separation between the two and then 
throw the magnet, and then throw the mag. Ooh, stay still. Ah, I was trying to grab my fingers. <laughs> the magnet is strong. Look, it jumped clean across the other side of the case. Anyway, that's funny. All right, so we know the magnets are hella strong. Um, you have all your requisite cables in here, your other USB to lightning, so you can use it on the phone, which is incredible. Uh, USB to C, which is going to be for the new phone probably <laughs> in like, what, two weeks from now? Uh, so all of that is in here in this cool little case. Um, I like that all the accessories are kind of like, you know, designed to stay put in this little case. So that's what's in the, I'm going to call this the dumb case because it's like this. How you doing, Sir Royal? Good to see you here. All right, so let's look inside the real deal case. Now, this case is nice, fam. This case is super nice. For those that have the older system, they did start selling the case separately. Um, the case, I believe, is just under 80 bucks or about 80 bucks. So here is what the Wireless Pro system looks like. Uh, cool because you see the USBs down there. This particular unit here is the uh, receiver It's there it has a little display telling you how the battery is doing Oi! this is the transmitter and as soon as you pull it out you guys saw that little blinky blink and it automatically paired that is phenomenal pull this guy out they do a couple blinks and then it auto pairs and then so now we have all of these bad boys set up. Yo, this is cool. I got to say, the footprint is going to be bigger for my travels than just taking the DJI, which I tend to take when I travel. But I am going to take this because I want to get those recordings. I'm leaving on Sunday, so this is a perfect chance to go. And I'm going to be in a place where I'll be able to use these a lot. So we'll get a bunch of good field testing on what that 32 bit float life be like, because it is definitely a situation in a Manny's thing is stuck to my dang leather. Come here, girl. Don't stick to my leather like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Can't be sticking little sticky things to my little leather mat over here. Look, I already scratched it up the other day. Make me sad. Look, Luis. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. So, um, yeah, this would be real good for that. But let's go do something up in here. Up in here. Let me load up the road app. Road Central. And then... We're going to do a, a quick little uh, screen share and then select Road Hentra. We're going to put it here. Kill the border Rodius. Stick to my leather is also an industry term. Yes, it's uh, for my BDSM streams but I charge for those. Hey, look, Marcus, I can't be sad about all the new people jumping into the industry because everybody knows me. One of my pet peeves is everybody wants to be in the game, but nobody wants to take the time to learn all the proper, like, terminology and behavior, whatever. They just want to press buttons and hope that it works. And that's cool until you have a problem and you need help and you try to ask an experienced person what it is that you are trying to solve for and they can't help you because you can't ask your question because you tried to shortcut learning the terms. So that's why I'm such a dick about it. And I try to make every people like learn the right nomenclature because as a tech person that be trying to help people out, nothing is worse than wasting hours trying to help them figure out a problem. The other day, I legit had six conversations with a dude trying to help him fix his podcaster, which is a microphone, but he was talking about a roadcaster, which is a mixer. 
and I get that they're similar, but I mean, like, yo, come on, fam. You kind of could have figured it out. All right. Anyway, so especially when the name is written on the device that's sitting right in front of you. <laughs> Let me plug and unplug this because this particular cable, which is not a road supply cable, so it doesn't make sense. This cable doesn't instantly bite it, and that makes sense. So we'll yank that out. Um, those is the front of the mic shiny glass or plastic is plastic 100% plastic let me use an actual road cable actually I'll use the road cable that they supplied it um, because this and again sometimes we like to use our own cables it makes sense you can't see this on this writing but this is a 60 watt five gigabyte per second cable. Some of my cables probably do fit that, but if you run into a problem, um, sometimes you just gotta switch the cable. And so I know that people do this because I do this. They'll get a brand new device, say like the Rodecaster Pro, and then they'll just plug it in with a random USB cable and it works. And then they'll say, well, it worked for three weeks and then it stops because Ecamm broke something. And it's like, no, sometimes you have to use the factory supply cable or get a better updated cable that works okay so let's see did that bite and if it did it it might just require some new firmware for, oh i'm also using a beta version of uh road central so that might be somewhat of a challenge let me on this and off it again switch it in uh, switch to usb mode that's cool. Now I switch to charging mode. Obs, I saw your message and I answered you. <laughs> Check again. All right, so it's not liking my version of Road Central. I'm going to have to go download a different version. But let's just see if Ecamm can see it. One, two, here it is. It does see it. So I, this is me with this in close proximity to the body. Let's put this over here. Um, unfortunately, Road Central, the version I have is not happy with what I'm doing, but hey, as it's to be expected, I'm cool with that. All right, so you guys talk to me and tell me how do it sound. Let me mute one of these bad boys. Which one? Okay, this is one. This is two. I'm going to put two back in the case. Did I get the right one? Yes, I did. Okay, so now you're just listening to this one. And I'm going to place it on my mic stand here just so you can hear it. I'm curious what you guys think of the audio. How does it sound? This is the Rode Wireless Pro compact system. It is... Um, connected and of course you know i will dive deep into what the 32-bit float does and um do some recording tests and let you guys hear the real sound out in the field and so again this is the test let's do some plosive tests with no um covers on it right now i'm doing my plosive test because i'm just using plosives but let's use a plosive heavy sentence and see what it's like. Um, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. All right, so that, that kind of covers it with no dead, sorry, Mike Afros on it. Let me add a set of mic afros. Sorry for the noise. I could have muted it, but I'll make you guys suffer since I have to suffer from people that don't like the terminology dead cat. Okay, so now this has the um, connect, not the connector. It has the uh, windscreen on the top. And let's do it again. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, 
how much, how many pickled peppers did Peter Piker pick if he picked the peck of pickled peppers? Positive. How's those plosive? B M is our was where win. B M O. What about <laughs> a Peter Piper pick peppers and run right rhymes? Humpty Dumpty fell down and it's on time. Jack B. Nimble was nimble, but he was quick. The grand master cards faster, but they never mind. <laughs> Is that better, Brown? <laughs> Who's that, Brown? <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> uh, oh, dude, now, you know what it is. If we're going to do nursery rhymes in uh, <laughs> as mic tests, then we got to go with uh, Dots Effects and the... Uh, uh, they want to fix some live effects. Heavens the Mercatory, Fast Boy effects, Ariba Dutch, you guys remember how many, how many minutes and it goes bump, bum, 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 bum. They want to fix some live effects. Or, I'm a true what? I am a true foo snake. I'm a true what? I am a true foo snake. <laughs> God. Oh, bro, you just messed up my whole head. I'm over here trying to think. <laughs> Anyway, fam, like, listen, listen, listen. This thing is cool. Uh, I'll again. I'm curious on what you guys think of the sound. Like, does it does it stand up to the hype? Um, you know, this has killer range. Th that's just road. Like, they always had decent range. The 32 bit float is going to come into effect, not necessarily when you're streaming, but when you're recording and you're out in the field and you're somewhere loud, like say you be at church and Linwell hits the loop, the hoop trigger and he starts hooping, it gets too loud. And now all of a sudden that audio would peak and it would be out of the range What the 32 bit float will allow you to do is transfer that audio directly over to your computer and through the road software it will automatically bring anything that peaked into range or you could take the raw recording move that over to your computer and use your software your DAW, your logic your audition your whatever you got and tell it to automatically normalize that audio so there's part of that the built-in lavaliers is a nice upgrade and then the time code sync which is good for recording, especially when you're trying to record with a bunch of different cameras. And then, you know what I'm saying? Brian, are you tell you tell him again? Yo, I actually uh, got to hang out with Fushnigga's crew when Shaq came to Honolulu during the release of his um, Shaq Attack album. So yeah, they're all really nice cats. And like myself, Haitian. So let's get there. Anyway, um, cool. Man, I wasn't going to say it, but since you and Brian said it, I'll accept. I'll accept. <laughs> All right, dude, this is cool. Anyway, dude, I, this one was going to be quick, gang. I just wanted to crack it open and do a quick test. I'll do lob tests uh, maybe on Saturday when we come through, but I got to run to the wood shop and cut some CNC work before I take off to Japan. But I appreciate you guys for sliding into the DM and checking this out. Um, this is really, really cool. I really enjoy this. Um, yeah, can't wait to can't wait to check it out, fam. Can't wait to check it out. Thank you guys for sliding through. Good to see you, B. D. Brown, Marcus. Sorry, Marcus. I don't I don't have any any uh, dancing for you today. <laughs> uh, Viget Op. Good to see you. Appreciate you. Aubrey, as always, thank you for sliding through. Mr. CJ and Rob Voss, K-Walk Comedy. And, hey, I didn't even know Matthew popped up in here. What's up, Matthew? Good to see you. See, that's why you should pay attention. And AT also in the building. Sharkeezy was in the building. Kevin Coxerulian is in the building. Yo, family, you guys don't even understand. I got good stuff pumping for you. Stick around. It's about to go down and there's Nemo on the screen in the back. Hey Nemo. <laughs> Aloha people. I appreciate you. Pasta. Let's go. Let's go. City of my
mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down, city of mine